Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install Kali Linux on a Mac with Apple Silicon. We're going to use UTM and the official installer ISO method. And now before we dive into the install process I used, I want to quickly show you a couple of alternative ways to get Kali running. So first, if you head over to the UTM gallery, you'll find ready-made Kali images. And these come pre-configured and you can just import them and go. The only catch is you'll need to log in to download them. Another option is using Kali's pre-built virtual machine images from Kali RG. And these are designed for VirtualBox, VMware, and other common hypervisors. And they work really well if you're running those environments on an Intel Mac or even a PC. And I use those images and they're really good. But if you're on a Mac with an M1, M2, or M3 chip, and you want the full installer experience, then that's where UTM and the official Kali ISO come in. Of course, there are some pre images for M1, M2, and M3 chips unofficially, but I'm not going to touch upon them. So let's get into it. I'll show you step-by-step -step how I install Kali Linux using the official ARM64 installer ISO inside UTM on my Mac M3 Pro. Open UTM and hit Create a New Virtual Machine. Choose Virtualize, and this uses your Mac's native architecture, so way faster than Emulate. Pick Linux and select your Kali installer ISO file. So let's take a look at the architecture. I'm an odd person, so I'm going to go with three cores. And let's review the architecture once again. Now, if you do just this, you might see your Kali booting into a black screen and stay there forever. So what we need to do is adding a serial device. A serial device is like a text-only communication channel between the host, your Mac, and the guest, Kali Linux. And I'm going to pick the good old backtrack. Usually, Linux VMs boot using a graphical display, but sometimes, especially with lightweight ISOs, headless versions, or if graphic drivers aren't recognized, the installer defaults to using a serial console for text-based input and output. The rest of the process is pretty straightforward. Just hit enter. and you create your own user account and password. And we want to have that default setting. We're going eight times faster. So once the installation is done, we're going to go back and remove the serial device. And we can safely remove the ISO file. And voila, welcome to your new Kali Linux. 
And these are some of the pre-installed tools. Oh, burp wasn't there. I installed it because I had to use it immediately. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and happy hacking.